In this tutorial, we'll walk you through how to accurately measure pool perimeters using Mosier. We'll show you how to handle two different pool shapes, a rectangular design with arc corners and a curvier kidney bean style pool. To get started, we'll select a closed shape measurement and turn on the Mosier device by raising it vertically and rotating it 180 degrees back and forth until the LED flashes blue. Once the LED turns red, place the device at the starting point of your measurement, ensuring the reference point is aligned with the pool edge. For accuracy, maintain a steady pace, place the device gently but quickly against the pool edge and rotate it smoothly avoiding any abrupt movements. Using the straight line path type allows us to measure in a straight line regardless of the route we take to get there. If there's an obstacle in our way, we can simply navigate around it. Once we place the device back down against the pool edge, we'll have captured a straight line measurement between the two points. Next, we continue measuring in a straight line, stopping where the corner of the pool begins. Here, we switch to the arc path type, capturing at least three points, the start, the middle, and the final point at the end of the curve. We then switch back to the straight line path and walk quickly to the next corner, where we repeat the process with the arc path to capture the curve. The app initially draws a straight line to the second middle point, but once we capture the third point, it switches to a best fit arc to complete the measurement. Next, we choose the straight line path and walk to the central part of the pool length, navigating around the pool handrails. By splitting a longer fast pace walk into two equal parts, you'll achieve the best accuracy. Staying on the straight line path, we quickly walk to the next start of the arc path for the corner, aligning the reference point with the pool edge. Once again, we choose the arc path type to capture the three points for a best fit arc measurement. Then, we switch to the straight line path and navigate easily around the next set of pool handrails, gently placing the device at the start of the last pool corner. To complete our measurement, we capture the final arc, placing the device at the start, middle and end around the curve. Remember, we must finish at the starting point to close the measurement and ensure accuracy. After tapping on the red stop icon, you'll see the perimeter and area values displayed for the entire pool measurement. To save the measurement, tap File, then Save, and choose a folder and file name. To add a background image for this pool, tap on Edit, then Edit Background. Next, tap on Add Image and upload an aerial view of your project to place behind your measurement. You can adjust the size, rotation and opacity to fit your needs. Once you're satisfied with the placement, tap Apply. You can show or hide the background any time within the layer menu. Next, let's move on to a kidney bean shaped pool, which features curved and irregular shapes. This shape requires a slightly different approach due to its more complex layout. We'll continue using the same techniques, but need to be mindful of the additional curves and obstacles as we measure along the pool's perimeter. To get started, we'll align the reference point with the pool edge at a memorable location, so we can easily return to it later. We've noted that the handrail will be in the way, so we're starting with an arc measurement. We'll capture three points, the start, the middle where the handrail is, and the end forming a best fit arc measurement. Now we switch to the trace line path, which allows us to maneuver the Mosier device around the contours of the pool edge, as there are no obstacles in the way. Remember to pause while the timer bar is in the green zone and no later than the amber zone to ensure accurate measurements. We continue using the trace line path, pausing when we see an opportunity to switch to an arc measurement. This allows us to capture the best fit arc, especially when we can clearly see a curve across the pool due to obstacles in the way. As we switch to a larger arc measurement, the second point creates a straight line, and the third point forms the arc measurement. This demonstrates how the app transitions from a straight line to a best fit arc once the third point is captured. Next, we'll capture a small trace line measurement. 
since we need to navigate around the pool handrails, we'll switch to the straight line path, allowing us to measure directly through the handrails. Since our path ahead is clear of obstacles, we'll switch to the trace line path, splitting the measurement into two equal parts for better accuracy. This will enable us to return to the starting point and close the perimeter measurement. After tapping the red stop icon, you'll once again see the perimeter and area values displayed for the entire pool measurement. We'll now save this measurement. To add a background image, tap Edit, then Edit Background, upload an aerial view of your project to place behind your measurement. After uploading, reduce the opacity so you can clearly see your measurement while referencing the background. Toggle between the background and measurement to help align them accurately. Adjust the size, rotation and opacity as needed and once you're satisfied with the placement, tap Apply. By mastering these techniques, you're now equipped to measure the perimeter of any pool shape with confidence and ease using Mosier.